And today we are at the Shoemaker Reef, which is a Silurian um, 425 million year old reef in Uwautosa. This place is one of the earliest reefs ever discovered or described in North America and in the world. So that means it was it is really important. So right now um, this is a bluff and the reef is exposed in the lower 20 feet and the upper uh, the upper side of the bluff is um, a heavily wooded area that has never been developed. So that so that means that um, this forest right here is original for however long it is since the last ice age, probably 10,000 years ago. So let's go take a look. This place is a lot easier to navigate when it's not so leafy, say in winter or something. This is an exposed uh, rock face. And the reason why this is exposed is because this used to be a quarry. Um, it's called a Shoemaker Quarry. Um, and so they basically cut off the hill where it is here. So, but what they did not realize way, way back then before we had geologists come here is that this is actually a reef and a very ancient reef. Um, so this whole rock face right here is reef material. And if you hack into it and you look at stuff in it, you, you'll find fossils like trilobites. It's a very common arthropod. Um, ton of pressure pots, corals. Um, yeah, so it is pretty damn cool, except it's really hard, so it's not easy to break at all. Even though I, could, I can touch it and see it, I cannot really find any fossils right here. Um, partly because the rock is covered by a little bit of moss and dirt, um, so it takes a bit of cleaning to see anything. Um, um, this place is a good place to come and see what a uh, reef mound looks like, but there aren't a ton of fossils that you can find here. Even if you look around at the gravel around, there's, there's, there is really nothing, um, but it's still pretty cool. Okay, so what we have here is um, Silurian Dolostone or Dolomite Stone. It's basically ca calcium carbonate with or limestone with uh, magnesium in it. But anyway, um, we do not know if these came directly from this quarry. I could be wrong, but um, it, it's pretty safe to say that these are um, Silurian stones. So um, they don't have any fossils in them, but um, regardless, it, it's, prob it's, it's prob probably uh, reef material made out of um, algae, bacteria, layers of sand and mud and all that, so we're gonna go up the hill um, just to take a look at what's up there and what's below us. And this is reef material still right here. It's a pretty steep slope. All right, we are above the rock face, so you can see it all below. Um, it's we're about 20 to 20 to 40 feet above um, the bottom of the bottom of the reef. Um, so this is this is how tall it is. Um, meaning the reefs back then were huge. They rose above water, um, and they kept, and they just kept growing until conditions were not favorable. It's about 600 feet long. So the whole the whole rock face reef face stretches for 600 feet. Um, in both directions. So that's how extensive uh, this reef right here is. And for scale, I am this tall and the reef is that tall, not including what's below me because we're still, we're still pretty far up on the hill.